Oh, hey, everybody. How you doing? This is Paul. We have changed the channel now, thanks to Google. I'm taking their... Um, I, I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, what uh, Google has told me that I am, and that is I'm a New World Order conspiracy person, or I talk like one. So we're just going to get to it, and we're going to make this, uh, I guess it was available, the official New World Order channel. And um, maybe I got it because I put the globe up there instead of writing out world. So anyways, welcome. This channel is new and improved, okay? Maybe not by much, but it's new and improved. Now, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's find out what is going on here in the world today. And we got to start from scratch. So let's go ahead and um, check out Bitcoin. Bitcoin is $51,160, so it's flat. Uh, we will check out now, um, uh, we will uh, check out uh, oil. We'll see what's happening with oil. It is down, uh, it's down to $76.40. Uh, so that's down uh, like 2% or so. And now we will check SD bullion find out how hard the metals are getting hammered um, I imagine they are getting hammered because when oil goes down that much they get hammered uh, gold is up actually $20 uh, to uh, $2,050 remarkably silver is up 27 cents it's climbed above $23 so $23 and 15 cents okay now let's check the Dow and then we're clear then we can move right into the New World Order news, okay? Uh, the Dow is up 100 points. It's a quarter of 1%. So uh, 39,163. All right. Now let's go ahead and get into the New World Order news. Um, I hope you like my new avatar on my channel. It is an astronaut um, making a uh, putt. Um, uh, on the moon and we don't know what the par is for that but I'm sure he was a couple strokes over but anyways if you're going to tell a lie you might as well tell a great big lie uh, by the way folks they didn't even have computers back then like uh, Atari 20, 2600 game they weren't even that they didn't even have calculators I remember the first calculators they were a big hubbub because they thought it was going to destroy the school system because everybody was going to cheat, which they did. And I remember because you had to learn your times tables and it was hard to do when you had a machine doing all the work for you. But earlier on, even after that, we still learned our times tables and I just missed the $5 cash prize from Mr. Whitman, who I'd like to thank. I never told that story. I had a bully named Scott Hubbard who used to always fuck with me. He always used to try to prove his point that he was a big fat slob and that he used to like to uh, try to get into it with me and I was just a scrawny kid. But I was kind of a tough little scrawny kid, honestly. And, um, you know, I had four sisters and a mom. I didn't have a dad in my family, so it was real hard for me. And um, this kid, um, he just kept fucking with me on the when I walked home and... I mean, all kinds of stuff. And I actually put up a really good fight with him. And somehow, this is an honest-to-God, true story. Mr. Whitman, I'm sure, is long dead now because he was around a 30-year-old teacher, a black teacher who was a good man. And you had plenty of them in the 70s, plenty of them. I don't know now, but in the 70s, you could tell a, a, a really good black man. You could tell. One that was really honorable and decent. And it was very clear to see to me. I just kind of picked up on it. Because we, we never had anything against blacks up in the north anyway. It's just not what we did. Black people were, there just weren't a lot of them. You know? But it was like it was no big deal. We just didn't, it, 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 it was just like any other person. Anyways, Mr. Whitman, who offered $5 for anybody who could give the times tables, I missed by one. I missed eight times seven. And I think I said 54 and it was 56. And I should have gotten it because those were football scores. Although most football scores don't go up. 
and get eight touchdowns, which is the answer to that one right there. But that's how I learned my times tables. I started remembering seven points for a touchdown. Anyways, I won't bore you. Uh, Mr. Whitman had enough of this. And all the kids were saying that Scott Hubbard wanted to fight me. And I think I, I think Mr. Whitman knew that the, the, the kid was a really bad bully. And um, he said, that's it. This is an honest to God, true story. Um, he wouldn't be teaching. Now he'd be in jail. He... Uh, and, you know, he cleared the, he said, all right, everybody move back, clear out the desks. This is an honest to God, true story with no embellishment. Just like I told you that I brought my Twister game in. Remember that game Twister that had that mat where you right hand read, left hand? I brought that thing in and when it snowed and then rained the next day and we had glare ice, um, I got, I had the bright idea of going down on that and it was such a good idea that even the girls, that should give you a, a, a little idea. The girls even got on board there and got close to me. And that was, I think it was fifth grade, I think. I think that was fifth grade. And they all piled on uh, to that thing with me, and we made our way down at breakneck speeds, and we had a lot of fun with that, but that was my idea. So score one, chalk one up for me. Nobody got hurt, and we had tons of fun. Everybody kept falling off because <laughs> it was a slight grade, but you pick up speed when you have a lot of weight. Now, Mr. Whitman cleared everybody out of the center, took all the desks, moved them back, and he said, Scott, Paul, get in there, and you begin to fight when I say go. I ain't kidding. I, the, he would be sent to the gulags now, and he said go. And we wrestled, and I got Scott down, and I pinned him, and he announced the winner, and the kids were all like a buzz about it. And I thank that teacher to this day. I've tried to find his name and call him. I've tried. And if I can, I've, I haven't been able to find his name. Maybe he moved out of Middletown, Connecticut, I'm sure. You know, whoever stays around in the same place. But it really breaks my heart because I would like to call him and have a good chuckle with him and say, you know, you're probably, if you did that now, you'd, they'd send you up the river. I mean, no shit. They'd say, I mean, you know what I mean? Things work differently now than in the early 70s. And that was early 70s. That might have been 72. It's right, 72 or 73, one of the two, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and get into this. I forgot the story that I was going to tell you. I'm going through this whole thing. Let me go back and see if I can remember what the hell it was. Uh, why, why did I forget this? I don't know. I don't have a clue. Let's just keep going. Uh, I was doing so well there for a while. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's go to Dredge. If I remember, I will um, belt it out. Okay? All right. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery shares plun plunge 12%. This company bleeds. TV advertising continues fall. Paramount put on negative watch. Uh, dementia hit Wendy Williams reduced the sideshow freak in new docuseries. Um, I, I don't know. I don't have anything against the woman. Um, that was the talk show host, wasn't it? And she was kind of a big girl. I, I don't know much. I don't have anything against her, but... Um, you know, who knows? Okay. Uh, more uh, telling you that uh, we're going to have um, Japanese-style World War II uh, internment camps uh, for the slime coming over the border. You know, the ones that come up to my guard shack and refuse to speak the numbers in English and just refuse to speak English. Folks, don't try that in another country. I'm just letting you know. Don't try that in another country. It won't go well for you. Okay, it only works with you fucking stupid dumbass fucking sub zombie fuck retards. That's all. You think that's somehow good for this country? It hurts me every time I have to go through that, which is fucking nightly. Every day, there's some fucking dummy there. Girls and guys. Let's keep going. I'm not going to get into it. You just get mad at me anyway. You're a new world order type. Here in the world, it's really good when you have people that don't want to speak your language. You'll find a better language. 
English is the best language on planet Earth, in case you didn't know. American English, not that fucked up gibberish that they speak in England. Thank you very much, or any of their territories. Thank you very much. I'll have to make my apology to Israel El Rai, uh, my subscriber that was humbug, long, long ago, and he changed his handle. I just heard from him. It was the first contact I've made with my people in like, like a, what, like six months or something? Seriously. So it was nice to hear from him. Okay. Uh, it says, MAGA maniacs declare death to democracy will take up arms. This is a quote now. This is a quote. It's not me saying it. Quote, we will we'll take up arms. Uh, Haley warns Trump's certain defeat. Well, again, like I told you, we finally find something. Me and Hindu finally uh, find something to agree on. Okay? I think she's 100% right. Uh, and she probably will win. Because she's no different than um, that, that fucking egghead now that we got. You understand? No different. No different. Um, okay, it says here, um, uh, Fox News touts gold sneakers. I think that's his shoe line or something. Folks, that's really, really horrible. The optics of it are absolutely terrible to have optics like that uh, for somebody running for president that's hawking $400 shoes. It's not good. It's not good. Um, okay, fight or flight. Fearful Trump critics weigh risk of retribution if he's reelected. It's not going to happen, folks. I told you that he's as dead as my sex life. It's finished. I'm going to get into it. I already went into it with my New World Order Video 7. All right? The Don equates domestic political opposition to World War II enemies abroad. Couldn't agree more. But I had already told you this. I told you the story. The guy that wanted to cut a perfume uh, channel video, I went over to his house, and he was a terrible driver anyway, like really terrible. And um, like when he took me back home um, after we cut this video, don't worry, it was for perfume only, okay? And, um, I, you know, I was agitated because he just went on the thing where, uh, Trump was going to do this and Trump was going to do that. And that was like five years ago, six years ago when he just took office and he didn't do anything. I mean, he was in office at that time, about a year, about two years. And that was like 2018. And he didn't do a thing, folks. Nothing, nothing. Oh, yeah, he did. He lowered the taxes. Uh, we got a pool in the back. He lowered the taxes. No, no, thank you. So, um, yeah, I agree with Hindu with that. All right, let's keep going. His takeover of the RNC will destroy it from within. We don't know. Um, team releases eyebrow-raising phone data in Fannie Willis' case. Let's take a look at that. Uh, because this is one that doesn't understand uh, that she looks like some kind of an animal. Like some kind of animal that just fucks everywhere that she goes. She just fucks whoever it is. That's what it kind of makes it look like. And she's too dim-witted to pick up on that. Um, it was the same thing with that dummy there, Darden, when they were trying to prosecute O.J. Simpson. Uh, the woman there, I forgot her name now, uh, that um, that uh, white girl uh, was doing it, the hibbity-dibbity with Darden, uh, the tall black guy that was uh, process, uh, the uh, head prosecutor. And it was just it was just an embarrassment, not because of gender and not because of color, but because it, 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 it wasn't proper. It had nothing to do with what was going on. All right, let's see. Trump releases eyebrow raising phone data. All right, let's see what this uh, dumbass says. OK, um, let's see. Eight page affidavit filled filed Friday in Fulton County Superior Court by Trump. Attorneys Steve Sato and Jennifer Little allegedly reveals, quote, a minimum of 35 occasions. Well, monkeys will fuck. What do you want me to tell you? Monkeys will fuck each other. If you want to act like um, a, an animal, then act like an animal. You know, th that's the problem. Don't act like an animal. 
don't it, it's just so ridiculous folks I, I'm not trying to be mean but it's not appropriate obviously it's in very poor taste is it illegal I don't know it doesn't seem like it but I don't know just doesn't speak well of the woman frankly All right, 35 occasion minimum 35 occasions during those months when Wade phone Wade's phone connected for an extended period to the cell towers nearest Willis's condo in the Atlanta suburb of Hapeville. In it, criminal defense investigator uh, describes his figures as conservative, explaining that he highlighted those times when Wade's phone was stationary and not in transit. Well, let's hope it wasn't real, real uh, uh, precise, because you might see the up and down movements. Who the hell knows? Jeez, I think I just got bit by a fire ant, and I can't see. Pardon my arm hair, but damn it. I think, you know, those things, they get on everything. Okay. Um, uh, Fulton Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee will now decide whether or not to admit the phone data analysis into evidence. Well, why, why introduce it at all? All right, so we've got that covered, okay? So more, more um, um, prosecutors uh, fucking like animals with each other. Um, oh, now this is... How come this isn't... Okay, let me redo this because it's not... It's not giving me the, um, I can't read it. It's expanded too big. Maybe that's going to return. It is. It's returning. All right. Just going to have to do the best I can here. All right. Uh, Biden says the key to his marriage was good sex. Okay. Those were the days, huh, Joe? Okay. How Joe, how Joe infuriates Jill with risque jokes. Well, if you have a great sex life, I guess that just adds to it. So Joe, Joe knows how to take care of his gal there. Let's give him credit where credit is due. Uh, his job approval is down to 38%. All the reason you need to know why my channel has to be here. When you have 38% of the people think that that fucking numbskull is doing something that's beneficial, you got real problems. As new world order-ish as that sounds. Thank you. Uh, that the whole cell phone thing was evidently AT&T software glitch, it says. Conspiracy swirl. Uh, stocks hit more record highs. Miami Beach, $125 million penthouse, rivals New York City billionaires row. El Salvador dictator gets rock star welcome at CPAC. Yeah, he's a Bitcoin um, person and a freakazoid, but uh, seen as um, a very stylish and chic. Conservative who moved to Russia to escape LGBT ideology now says she hates it. Uh, whatever. Could be. Begs for forgiveness after Kremlin hears insults. Andy Cohen accused of sexual harassment. Is that Andy Dick? Is that the, is this the, it, or is it something else? Uh, you know what? I, I'm not interested in this. I'm, I'm just not. Okay, I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm not interested in Andy Dick or Andy, whatever his name is. Okay, let's see. Let's finish this out. Um, Echis ectoscopic pregnancy put her life at risk. Texas hospital refused to treat. Again, uh, you conservatives want to move back into the 17th, 18th century, so go for it. You can also become the Whig Party, which was the defunct party 
in I think it was the 1800s, the mid 1800s, or just before. Um, that Biden announces 500 new sanctions on Russia. Uh, Putin plotting another land grab? Question mark. Two years of war in Ukraine has changed the way militaries think. A study stress fuels cancer spread. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. And I feel sorry for the people with cancer, obviously. Um, and it is, that's why I've always mentioned that if you have something really bad going on like that, I mean, forget about the coffee enemas, you know, with the double mocha coffee enemas. Just have yourself a good steak and enjoy it and have yourself a, a milkshake and enjoy it because um, they've got all kinds of things. They say that sugar increases it, makes it spread faster, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know. I would just say try to take the stress off. That's what I would say. Keep going. Uh, spring fever in February, record smashing um, records in February um, for Midwest and East Coast. Cyclist gate truck. Waymo cars keep hitting things. I don't know what that means. Once the darling of the EV world. Rivian is reeling. I saw they make like a cool looking car uh, with this weird headlight pattern. I guess they're having trouble with them. I don't know. Okay. And that's it, folks. Yeah, we made it through. Nothing meaningful. Sorry to say. Welcome subscribe be nobody and we'll talk about how um stupid and retarded uh, i am for having a, some questions about going to the moon uh while they just landed a private company just landed a lander on the moon and it said now that they're having trouble with communicating with it that it's got weak signal and um uh, well, you know, that's just the lander, but, you know, we went and we, of course, drove a, a dune buggy on there and we went golfing and uh, we were doing the uh, hop, skip and a jump routine and there wasn't even uh, any kind of problem except, of course, for the movie about a movie, evidently, uh, Apollo 13 or whatever that was, okay? So multiple missions, no trouble at all, you know. Uh, they're having trouble getting uh, a lander on the moon. But, of course, we did it. No sickness. No this. In a ship that used metal thinner than a, 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 a Coca-Cola can. Evidently, is what I'm told. So go figure yourself, okay? Have a good think on it. Later.